This is a middle loop quick, quick, quick class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class on finding key files on the DJI RC Pro. In today's quick class, we'll first provide some quick background on internal storage versus expansion memory via a micro SD card. Then we'll get right into it. For each of the file types we'll be covering, we'll briefly explain what they are and then show exactly where to find them on the RC Pro's file structure. We'll start with the video cache files, which might be useful for posting to social media. We'll then cover the ultra-high resolution versions, which have been downloaded off the drone. We'll also be covering where to find screenshots and screen recordings, and then finally, downloaded files off the internet. A quick reminder, if you haven't already and you find these videos useful, you might want to hit that subscribe in the lower right. We have a lot of videos on the RC Pro, and subscribing will help you find them. Now, let's get started. The RC Pro collects a lot of files, including, of course, videos and photos screen recordings and screenshots, just to name a few, and all are very useful. But before you can use them, you need to know where to find them, and finding them starts with the media. As you know, the RC Pro allows for expanding its memory by using a micro SD card. The good news is, whether a file is written to the SD card when present, or internal storage when not, the file path itself remains the same. You just need to know where to start. As you can see, I have a micro SD card installed, which is named Android. This is the name it was given when I formatted it on the RC Pro. Yours might be called something different. The internal hard disk is called internal shared storage. If you're interested in installing and utilizing the micro SD card on the RC Pro, we have another video for that. We'll provide a link to that video at the end of this video. You should note that not all files utilize the SD card. Some will always go to internal storage even if the SD card is installed. As we go through each file type in this quick class, we'll indicate those that do not use the SD card with this symbol, and those that will use it, if available, with this symbol. So let's get into it. When you're recording video on the drone, it's typically captured in ultra high definition. Maybe it's 2K or 4K or higher. By default, HD quality video will be recorded on the RC Pro at the same time. These are the cache files, which, as I said earlier, might be useful for posting to social media. To find the video cache files from the root directory, go to Android, Data, DJI.go.v5, Files, Media Caches. And there you have it. By the way, if the file path changes in the future due to a firmware update, we'll be sure to note it in the description. Incidentally, cache files are only captured on the RC Pro when recording video, and at this time, photos are not cached on the RC Pro at all. On the RC Pro, in the DJI Fly app, if you go to the album, you can download the videos and photos to the RC Pro from the drone in the resolution that it was shot. To find the downloaded files from the root directory, Go to Android, Data, DJI.go.v5, Files, DCIM, Original Files. From here, the downloaded videos will be in the Video folder. And if we go back to the Original Files folder, Photos will be in the Photo folder. A screenshot is a photo of the RC Pro's screen. A screen recording is a video of the screen from the moment you start the recording until you end it. Screenshots and screen recordings are useful when creating how-to tutorials on using the RC Pro. Of course, at Middle Loop, we use this feature all the time. And you guessed it, we have a video on how to use this feature. We'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. The screenshots and screen recording files are in two different places. To find the screenshot files from the root directory, go to Pictures, Screenshots. And to find the screen recording files from the root directory, Movies. For those who use the RC Pro browser on the internet, you might from time to time download a file. For example, maybe you're installing a third-party app and you've downloaded the APK file. To find the downloaded files from the root directory, go to Download. Well, that does it for this quick class. Clearly, we've only covered a handful of key file types. If you're aware of one that we didn't cover here today and you think it'd be useful to our viewers, please leave a comment and include the file path if you have it. We'll be sure to include it in the description. And who knows, if we get enough, maybe we'll produce a part two to this video. 
For your convenience, we've included a list of all the file paths that we covered in today's tutorial. You'll find it by clicking Show More in the description below. If you found this video useful, click that subscribe in the lower right. And if you want to get notified whenever we post a new video, be sure to also click that notify bell below. And as promised, here are the links to the videos that we referenced earlier. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.